Close your eyes and watch your breath, all the way in, all the way out. As for anything else, you just let it go. Any sounds outside, any pains in the body, just leave them alone. Focus on the breath and try to make it comfortable. So it feels good coming in, satisfying, feels good going out. And ask yourself, what kind of breathing do you really need right now? Do you need energizing breathing or relaxing breathing? Well, you can choose. See what you can do to make use of this element in the body, this wind element, this breath element. It's there all the time. Just the question of making use of it or not. You may have noticed that when you come here on the Sundays, lots of different talk, topics are discussed in the Dharma talks, but there's one topic that's emphasized every Sunday, and that's the precepts. You take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, then you take the precepts. And that's connected, because taking refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha means that you look at their qualities and see what's good in their the example that they set for us, and then you try to emulate that example in your own life. When you think about the Buddha, what you think about is awakening. Think about it, the night of his awakening, he saw the whole cosmos, beings dying and being reborn, in line with their actions. It had a big impression on his mind. It was, it was the next knowledge that actually gave him his awakening. But this knowledge also determined how he taught people. Because he saw that if you break the precepts, if you kill living beings, if you steal anything, if you have illicit sex, if you lie, if you take intoxicants, it's going to pull you down. Now karma is complex. Sometimes you do bad things in this lifetime, and the next lifetime, next lifetime, bad things don't necessarily happen to you. But that means that doesn't mean that the karma isn't there. It's just waiting. But the general principle is that you do something unskillful, it's going to weigh you down. And so he spent his lifetime telling other people, don't do unskillful things. In particular, don't break the precepts. This is what keeps us on the human level. You break the precepts and it opens the trap door below the human level. And you don't know how far you're going to fall. But if you keep the precepts, you've got that trap door closed. And the Tayachans like to say that these precepts make you a human. There are five of them, just like you have two arms, two legs, and a head. If you break one of the precepts, it's like cutting off one of your arms. If you break another one, it's cutting off the other arm. You can imagine cutting off your legs, cutting off your head, and you're dead. In other words, your ability to function well and the ability to find happiness just gets more and more restricted. So if you're observing the precepts, take pride in the fact that you're doing something really good that's maintaining your human level. If you're not, you might want to consider. As the Buddha said, it's for your long-term welfare and happiness that you follow these precepts. In particular, the one against lying. Because the lying, you give misinformation that can affect people not only in this lifetime, but also into future lifetimes. So you want to be really careful about what you say. Make sure that you say nothing but the truth. Because when pe people lie, it starts to destroy the fabric of society. We see all around us our so-called leaders lie all the time. Everybody takes it for granted. And society just is not a pleasant place to be. People don't want to live in this society with conditions like this. So, it, However, the improvement has to start with you. You can make sure that your society is a good society by telling the truth. Now there may be times when you have to keep back some information because you feel that somebody might misuse it. But you don't say anything that you know is not true. When you keep that precept in mind, when you keep that principle in mind, it saves you from a lot of long-term grief. And it lifts the quality of your mind. You become a person of integrity. You become a person that people can rely on. You can rely on yourself. This is how we say that after you take refuge, you take the precepts because you're going to use these precepts to make yourself a refuge. Then you become a good example to others so that refuge gets extended. So take these precepts seriously. They're not just there for ceremonial purposes. They're emphasized every week, every week, because they're such an important part of maintaining your status as a genuine human being, now and on into the future. You don't want to fall below this at all. So make sure this is the lowest common denominator in your, in your behavior. And that way you provide yourself with a refuge that you really can depend on.